Hello friends, welcome to Daring Maranga YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about bowler mountings. This video will be a detailed discussion. So stay tuned to this video. Bowler mountings are a set of safety devices fitted on boiler for its protection and for complete control of the steam generation cycle. In this picture we can see a model of boiler and we can see the some accessories and mountings in this picture. We will discuss more about in detail about each parts in the in the video itself. Here we will we are showing different boiler mountings fitted on a boiler. These two are two different types of boiler. Here we can see ash pit, fire box, fire door, pressure gauge. Safety wall, steam shop wall, chimney, manhole, feed sack wall, grate, block wall, etc. We will be discussing each of these accessories and mountings in detail in this video. As we know that boilers have a working pressure of 2 to 5 bars and it can even go higher with big industries. These have been added on the boiler performing different functions and showing different parameters to prevent the boiler from malfunctioning control various parameters and also to assess the present condition of the boiler. In this article, we will be discussing mainly about the definition, the function of boiler, why is it essential in a water accessories or mounting essential in a boiler, then difference between mountings and their function and also we will be providing the diagrammatic presentation will be also there and difference between boiler mountings and accessories and what are the boiler accessories in detail. So let's start with the boiler mountings list R. First one is main steam stop wall, second auxiliary steam stop wall, safety wall, water level gauge glass, air vent cock, feed check wall, pressure gauge connection and blow, blow down wall. Then scum blow down wall, sampling connection, whistle wall, low level alarm, suit blower, automatic feed wall regulator, manhole, mud box, TDS sensor and a sample. First, what is a boiler mounting? These are safety instruments installed for a safe boiler operation. It's a simple definition. What we can say, it is the part of the system that are mounted over the boiler's own body for boiler protection and for complete control of the steam generation cycles. The machinery prevents harm to the boiler from itself due to extremely high pressure, steam backflow, vacuum shell collapse, unregulated steam pressure, low water, pumping backflow and dry running respectively. The functioning of boiler mountings. These are the fittings that are mounted on the boiler for proper operation. These includes the water level indicator, pressure gauge, safety wall etc. It may be noted that the boiler cannot operate safely without mounting. Why mountings are essential in a boiler? Thus we have already discussed. These are essential in boiler because to run boiler in a safe operation. For more marine related topics and detailed discussion about related topics, do like, share and subscribe and have a great day ahead. So let's move, get back to the video itself. Topic discussion. Different boiler mounting and their function. Let's see what are the boiler mountings are. First one is main steam stop bolt. Location, it is usually fitted to the highest part of the shell by means of a flange. Here we can see the steam stop wall, hand wheel, nut pillar, spindle, nut wall, wall disc, wall seat, wall chest etc. In this picture we can see that. And here we can see the flange disc seats between the above the wall, wall chest and all. Then pillar, gland, flanges and all. So what are the function of main steam stop wall? To control the flow of steam from the boiler to the main steam pipe. To shut off steam completely when required. These are the main function. The steam produced in the boiler is provided by this valve to the ship system. It is generally a non return valve typically directly installed on the steam space of boiler shell. The boiler is made of cast iron and the valve seat is made of gun metal. Then auxiliary steam stop valve. Auxiliary steam blade provided by the boiler for small auxiliary system is supplied via this valve 
most of the steam system on vessel this valve is smaller in size and generally non return type then safety valve safety valve its location this boiler mount is attached to the steam chest then its function is to blow off the steam for preventing explosions when the pressure of the steam inside the boiler exceeds the working pressure mainly it is a safety purpose safety valve generally used are of spring loader safety valve in case of unsafe excess pressure inside boiler the security valve is used to release the excess pressure before installation the valve lifting pressure is set and locked in the presence of a surveyor so that it is not changed later in general safety valves are mounted in pairs here we can see the picture of a boiler we can see the compression ring is in gear valve and all other plated boiler mounting center water level gauge glass this its location is this fittings may be seen in front of boiler because we have to know the level of water level in the gauge glass its main function is this boiler mountings fitted to indicate the water level inside the boiler gauge glasses are also installed in pairs to manually monitor the water level inside the boiler tank the construction of gauge glass is chosen on the basis of boiler pressure here we can see a pressurization of a gauge glass here it is provided that protector shield is provided there drain cock and water cocks and above top of the steam cock provided air vent cock or air release valve or boiler vent what is it location where is it location located this valve is fitted in headers boilers drum etc function to prevent boiler imploding when depressurized or when steam pressure is initially increased the word implosion is contrary to an explosion the pressure inside the boiler will decrease sufficiently below atmospheric pressure in this situation to prevent the shell to buckle inward this boiler mountings are required here we can see a manual air vent that is vent valve to release the air feed check valve and control valve its location is it is fitted to the shell slightly below the normal water level of the boiler it is a non return valve fitted to a screwed spindle to regulate the lift its function to regulate the supply of water which is pumped into boiler by feed pump this valve controls the supply of steam as required and is installed after the stop valve in both the main and auxiliary steam leads they are non return valves with visible sign of open and closed position here we can see that non return valve with open and closed position then pressure gauge connection its location is it is fixed in front of the boiler its main functions are to measure the pressure of the steam inside the steam boiler this pressure gauge can be installed in a superheated boiler drum and wherever it is essential to read the pressure reading pressure gauges generally used are of burden type here in this picture we can see that pressure gauge which is of burden type blow down valve it is located blow down is an important boiler mounting which is located at the bottom of the boiler its function to empty the boiler whenever required to blow it blow the air pressure to remove the mud scale or sediments accumulated at the bottom of the boiler it is used when chloride levels become very high and to empty a boiler entirely for cleaning purpose or to treat the boiler's water here we can see timer control automatic bottom blower valve to remove all the mud and all, all that waste impurities and all scum blower valve location this boiler mounting is, is fitted to the crown plates of the furnace of the firebox or the firebox its function to put off the fire in the furnace of the boiler when the level of water in the boiler falls to an unsafe limit and thus avoids the explosion which may place due to overheating of the furnace plate a shallow dish type system equipped at ordinary water level that enables floating impurities to blow down oil forming etc from the surface of the water here we can see that scum blower valve scum valve blower valve center here which ship sets the sampling connection or cell meter valve 
A sampling water cook arrangement is generally equipped with a cooler in sequence so that water samples can be collected at any moment for the testing of feed water. Its main functions are for salinity test of water. Sampling function of salinometer cell water. Salinity. Whistle water. If a steam whistle is provided in the ship, a steam is supplied directly from the boiler via a small non rotated valve known as whistle valve. Then low level alarm. Function an apparatus used to trigger low water level with audible condition. Then suit blowers. Its function required for suit blowing and pipe surface combustion products. It is operated by steam or compressed air. Automatic feed water regulator. Its location. A device that is vital and fitted into feed lane. Its main functions are automatic feed water regulator is one of the most important boiler mounting to ensure the appropriate level of water in all load circumstances. In boiler with high evaporation rate, multiple feed element water control system is used, properly used. Then manhole. We all generally know what is a manhole and use it. The same purpose is used in the boiler. The boiler is fitted with multiple manhole gates enabling inspection, cleaning and maintenance of boiler tubes and inner components by the crew. Its location. Usually one gate is fitted in the steam drum and one in the water drum. Then mud box. The mud box in the boiler is used to collect mud or impurities from the water drum. Its located. It is fitted at the bottom of the water drum. Mainly mud will accumulate at the bottom due to gravity and here we can see that the ash pit grate and mud culture of a boiler. Overall side view of a boiler. Then TDS sensor and sample. Function. Most modern boilers are now equipped with this system for continuous monitoring of total dissolved solids. TDS means total dissolved solid sensor in the boiler water. The sensor compares the true value to the set point and an audio visual alarm is given if the value is on the higher side. A manual blowdown to introduce fresh feed water into the system to reduce the total dissolved solids. This is the TDS, total dissolved solid sensor. It is used in modern ships. Then we can discuss about the difference between boiler mountings and accessories. Then now discuss more about that this session we will discuss about boiler accessories. Accessories are auxiliary elements needed for proper boiler operation and to improve the efficiency of it. They are integral components of the boiler but they are not mounted on it. Control fluid parameters outside of the boiler. These are not of the essential parts of boiler without which the boiler can work with a lower efficiency. The examples are superheater, feed pump, injector, economizer, steam separator, air preheater, etc. Then boiler mountings. These mountings are components used to ensure the protection of the boiler. They are usually mounted on the surface of the boiler. Monitor fluid parameters inside the shell of the boiler. One is outside, then other is inside. Difference between mountings and accessories. These are the integral part of the boiler without which it is difficult to operate the boiler. Example pressure gauge, water level indicator, safety valves, stop valve, fusible plug, blow of coke, etc. What is a boiler accessories? Let's discuss this boiler accessories in detail. Boiler accessories are those devices which are installed with a boiler and its neighboring area to increase the efficiency of the boiler. These are not the essential part of the boiler and thus without installing this device, the boiler operation can be accomplished to at lower efficiency. Boiler accessories. What are it? Let's see. First one is feed pump. Feed pump used to feed the high pressure water in the boiler. The pressure of the steam inside the boiler is high. So the pressure of the feed water must be increased for smooth operation before it reaches the boiler. In general, the pressure of the feed water is 20% higher than that of boiler pressure. The feed pump can be of centrifugal or reciprocal type, reciprocating type. Then suit blower. Second one. During combustion, 
soot deposits on the internal tubes of furnace and the gas passes are plugged ultimately the soot deposited inside furnace decreases the boiler efficiency soot blower is then used to remove soot from the tubes in order to prevent gas passes from being plugged here we can see the soot blower a picture is in representation nozzle steam parts and how the soot blower is used to remove the soot accumulation of soot in the boiler injector the function of the injector is same as that of feed pump it is used where space is not available for installation of the feed pump kinetic energy of steam is used in an injector to increase the pressure and velocity of the feed water in a convergent divergent nozzle the advantages are or the benefits are merits are it is simple compactness high thermal efficiency absence of dynamic part and its demerits or disadvantages are low pumping efficiency difficulty in operation under extreme variation in steam pressure here we can see that diffuser throat converging diverging nozzle converging inlet nozzle and diverging outlet no diffuser if large amounts of feed water involved feed pump are preferred over the injector because they are more reliable and require less attention next economizer economizer is a heat exchanging device mainly heat exchanger we can call that extracts some of the heat from exhaust or flue gas before leaving the chimney and uses it to heat feed water feed water passes through the tubes and exhaust flue gas flows through the outside of the pipe economizer improves the boiler economy the economizer units are generally placed between boiler and chimney its advantages are stress is reduced due to uneven expansion because the temperature range between the boiler and parts is decreased fuel consumption savings that is almost 15 to 20 percentage it will help in fuel saving and thus increasing overall efficiency the evaporative capacity of the boiler has been increased that is it increases the boiler steam generating capacity as it shortens the time required to convert water into steam and protection against the cooling of the metal boiler prevents the formation of scales in boiler water tubes scale forms in the economizer tubes that can be easily cleaned so just like a heat exchanger a plate type heat exchanger so shell and tube type heat exchanger here just a picture of a presentation of a soot chamber and no super heater super heater raises saturated steam temperature without elevating its pressure it consists of a small bundle of tubes it is installed in the path of hot flue gas of furnace inside the heater tubes saturated steam passes and hot flue gases pass outside the tubes thus heat transfer occurs from a hot flue gases to saturated steam and increases the temperature of steam without increasing its pressure for this purpose convection superheaters and radiation superheaters are used the change in steam temperature depends on the position of the superheater the temperature of the hot flue gas the configuration of the superheater and the flow of steam if with the help of superheater the temperature of the saturated steam increases to 100 degrees celsius then 1% fuel saving can be achieved the advantages are steam consumption reduced protection from erosion of turbine losses due to condensation of steam in the cylinders and pipes are reduced increases plant efficiency here we can see that an exchanger heat exchanger shell and tube heat exchanger air preheater air preheater used to recover heat from flue gases of exhaust it's installed between the chimney and economizer through preheater air for combustion pressure purpose passes it raises the temperature of combustion air with the help of flue gas of exhaust air passes through heater tubes and flue gases passes over the outside of the heater tubes thus the transfer of heat from flue gases to the air required to, for combustion takes place if the temperature of the combustion air increases up to 1000 fahrenheit with the help of air preheater 2.3 to 2.6% of the fuel can be saved in some condition 
5 to 10 percent of the fuel savings can also be achievable. The advantages are evaporative capacity per kilogram of fuel increases. It also increases 2 percent of bone efficiency for each 35 to 400 degrees Celsius increase in air temperature. Also gives better burning with less smoke, soot and ash. Allows low grade fuel to burn with less excess air. Fluid gas and the function fresh air will go and bay are also provided with that and hot air out. Pressure reducing valve. The function of pressure reducing valve is to maintain pressure constant on its delivery set irrespective pressure of the boiler. Then steam separator. In a turbine, the use of wet steam in is uneconomical. Hence, a steam separator, which is also known as moisture separator, is used. Steam separator's function is to remove water droplets from steam. It is installed on the main steam pipe in the boiler. It is also important to remove water beside steam because water droplet in steam decreases the thermal efficiency. Water may accumulate in cylinder and cause hydrostatic lock which damages the engine. In thermal power plants, high speed steam water droplets from the nozzle damage the turbine blades. Here we can see the steam separator and turbine blades. In accordance with the operating principle, they are classified as impact or baffle type, reverse current type or centrifugal type. Usage of baffles. Then we can in the final session part we can discuss about marine boiler alarms and trips. Low water level alarm. Since water is converting into steam, therefore water consumption occurs. If the level is not manually controlled, a stage will occur where the water level will drop to a certain level L2 and the alarm will be seen and heard. Low water level alarm. If the alarm at a level L2 is not recognized, the level will drop further to level L1 and the burner will stop firing to prevent the boiler shell from being damaged due to excessive heat from the flame burner. High water level. The alarm will sound when the water consumption does not match the intake of feed water by means of a feed water pump. The water has reached the H1 level. High high water level. If the water at level H1 is not recognized, the feed water pump stops at level H2, therefore cutting the water supply to the boiler drum. The feed pump stops preventing the boiler drum from the excessive hydraulic pressure exerted by the feed water, which may cause the boiler drum to explode. At least, we can see it. Low steam pressure. These alarms indicate different cases such as burner does not firing up to the level, thus feed water is less in the boiler and therefore less pressure. High steam pressure, alarm with the trim to burner to avoid damage to the steam drum due to excessive steam pressure. Then low feed water pressure, due to a certain difficulties, the feed pump has difficulty in generating ample pressure to push the water inside the boiler drum. Therefore the standby feed pump stands to maintain the pressure of the feed water. Remember that a feed check wall between the water pump and the drum is provided. Then low fuel oil pressure. The pump for boosting the fuel oil pressure for injection does not produce enough pressure due to variety of factors. So a standby fuel oil pump is started to supplement the loss of pressure due to injection of fuel into furnace. It should have enough pressure to allow the fuel to atomize fully. Low fuel oil temperature. Low fuel temperature contributes to a significant amount of sunburned fuel accumulation in the furnace. So there is a high risk of explosion. Then high fuel oil temperature. Since the fuel oil should be within the favorable temperature condition, so heating up of oil gives an alarm. Low combustion air pressure. For complete combustion, FD fans that is forced draft fans are used to supply combustion air to the boiler burner. But when there is an alarm for combustion air pressure, it should be noted that there is no damage to fan blades and no obstruction to the intake of the combustion air. Low atomizing steam pressure. As an atomizing medium, if steam is used, this trip will occur if there is an obstruction in the whole passageway of the steam supply or the pipeline having supply steam. 
then flame failure not that this is an overrider when boiler is starting up or firing up this trips occurs for preventing the fuel accumulation in the furnace which may become the source of explosion if not properly plugged excuse me properly purged burner not in the firing position or position of fire since the burner is not in the position of fire one case may be because the arc does not strike between the electrode and the fuel supply to the prevent the accumulation and explosion this trip is initiated next nice, thank you will be coming soon with more interesting and informative topic session do like share and subscribe i hope i have covered the boiler mounting and accessory session in detail in case any queries you can comment it in the comment session do like share and subscribe to this youtube channel and hit the notification bell for more instant updates thank you and jai hind